In a world where the phrase stay safe has been used more often, it is the most common phrase used in science laboratories. Welcome to the AECI VITS Chemistry Laboratory. Today, we will look into good laboratory practice and appropriate conduct in the laboratory. It is worth noting that when working in the lab, there are some strict rules we must adhere to for our own personal safety. Some of these rules may seem trivial at first. However, at this stage, you are inexperienced and unaware of the potential dangers that may occur. Therefore, if you are unsure, you should ask the lab superintendent and or your demonstrator. It is important to note that the purpose of you working in the lab is to, one, receive training, work neatly and systematically, two, to reinforce the knowledge acquired in lectures, and three, to encourage you as students to observe accurately, think critically about the experimental work, and make meaningful deductions based on your observations. It is important to have a clear objective prior to conducting an experiment in the lab. Therefore, it is good practice to read your lab manual, write down the procedures, and highlight any areas that require clarification, as this preparation will enable you to work swiftly and safely in the lab. It is important to record your findings in your lab manual instead of using pieces of paper, because using pieces of paper can become unreliable as you can easily lose it. It is important to label your flask prior to adding any solution into it. As you can see, it is difficult to identify which solution is which, as they both appear colorless. Therefore, by labeling the flask, you can see which solution is which. Remember to only take the amount of solution required in the appropriately sized beaker. If I need 100 milliliters of this solution, I can use a 200 milliliter beaker for it. Whereas if I need 20 milliliters of this solution, I can use a smaller beaker of 100 milliliters with the correct markings on it. Remember, never to return any accessory agents back into the stock bottles. Instead, throw it into the appropriate waste collection container. Remember, do not smell any substance directly from the container. Instead, waft the odor gently towards your nose. No tasting, eating, or drinking of chemicals or your own food while in the lab. The ingesting of chemicals and or contaminated food may be poisonous to the body. The signs of poisoning include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, chest and or abdominal pain, just to name a few. In severe cases, this may lead to death. Smoking in the lab is prohibited as there are flammable gases and chemicals that can cause a fire. No pranking, running, or playing in the lab, as it can put others and yourself in danger. Wearing headsets in the lab takes away focus, and thus, accidents may occur. Should you discover that you are pregnant, you should inform the lab superintendent immediately so that further instructions can be communicated. Always make sure that there are no bags or any obstructions in any pathway. This is considered a safety hazard as someone may trip or fall and hurt themselves. And this concludes the video about good laboratory practice and appropriate conduct in the lab.